Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll show you how to charge your AC system with Freon uh, on a Mercedes W220, 210 um, or any other model with similar setup. So um, first you, you kind of pull that red part and as you pull it, pulling it, you press it onto the port and then release. That's how it connects and make sure everything is tight. Uh, that was the red or the the high pressure line. The blue one is um, there, and then you uh, the the yellow line goes to the pump, and this is the f the first of um, uh, two or three pumps, uh, vacuum pumps. So you connect it to the vacuum pump and turn it on, and um, then uh, turning the knobs left, you open up the gauge and you'll see the dial moving uh, towards the negative numbers uh, especially look in the blue dial and you see it's hovering around minus 28 so it is pumping air and moisture out of the system and that's crucial you want to do that before you charge Freon um, into the system uh, because uh, what destroys uh, air conditioning systems is air and moisture. And so uh, after about an hour, you close the blue and uh, red knobs by turning both to the right. And afterwards, you turn off the pump. Uh, make sure you do it in that sequence. And then you kind of leave it at least for one hour. I would suggest at least one hour. Some people do it overnight. Um, a day, a full day, and uh, and then you come back and you check the reading and make sure it's exactly the same as before. If it's not, that means you have a leak and you have to fix it. Otherwise, you move on to step three, uh, which is pumping again. So, uh, at least one more hour, I would say. Uh, open up the this time just a left knob. Uh, sorry, uh, open up both. Um, I was confusing this with when you charge. When you charge the system, you only open up the blue knob. Uh, so open up both uh, and uh, pump for at least one hour. And then close both knobs. And then disconnect the yellow, yellow line from the pump. Uh, you're done vacuuming the system and at this point you take the yellow line that you disconnected from the pump and you connect it to the first of four cans of R134A without any additives uh, because hopefully you have um, oil in the system. If, if you don't then you want to get cans with oil and that will require a different calculation. But uh, look uh, on the label under the hood and you'll see for your type of car I've, I've included the uh, numbers for the W210 and W220 with uh, front or front only or front and rear air conditioning Here, here's the tab uh, the gauge I reference in the description comes with a can tab and so uh, the mechanism works in uh, in such a way that you turn the knob on the tab and that pierces the can and then you'll wait to hear a hissing sound. That means that uh, now Freon is making it out of the can into the yellow line and then you back it off a little bit and so that means that Freon is now making it from the yellow line all the way into the gauge. Uh, but there still should be some some air in the yellow line so then you go to the gauge and um, you open it up a little bit, the yellow line, until you hear a um, hissing sound there at the gauge, which means that now some Freon is coming out and escaping into the atmosphere. And you keep it open just for a couple of seconds uh, and then you close it tight. And at this point, there should, that means there's nothing but Freon inside the yellow uh, line. Uh, so the Freon at this point is going from the can all the way to the gauge and then you open up the blue knob and that makes that that allows the Freon to make it uh, to go from the yellow 
into the blue line and then into the port and the car, the low pressure uh, port, and from there into the AC system. Uh, and so you'll see the dial move uh, to uh, plus number here about 20 or so and so then you have to turn on the car and the AC system uh, the temperature to the lowest setting the fan to the maximum and then you watch the compressor clutch make sure that is turning and um, and of course uh, the radiator, radiator fan should also come on at some point when it gets hot enough and then you'll see the dial and the red uh, gauge also moving uh, here you'll see after I think I'm here down to this may be the second can or sorry it's the first can and it's uh, right above uh, 100 psi and the high pressure side and uh, follow the instructions on the can and uh, you each each can will empty in about 10 to 20 minutes so be a little patient and also use a shot towel or something to hold the can because it might get cold too cold for your hand and you keep going until it goes uh, you know here's here's a chart uh, that I have copied from the Mercedes workshop manual uh, use the, the uh, it's for two models the, use the one on the right for the E320 um, and you see the blue and pink lines that I've drawn you'll have to do that for uh, your ambient temperature I've done it for 35 degrees centigrade and, and you may have to convert these to Fahrenheit and uh, PSI on the left you'll see bar numbers and for the humidity level, whether it's uh, you know between 40 and 80 percent, but uh, you uh, kind of uh, have an assistant um, press on the accelerator and uh, turn the engine to 1,500 RPM for a final reading, and then uh, make sure you 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 know within 20 uh, plus minus uh, percent. Uh, that you get a reading uh, that matches the chart and the reading in the chart and then you're done you just disconnect uh, the gauge lines from the ports on the car and um, and your uh, AC should be running um, freezing cold at that point if you have any questions post them in the comments and I hope you like this video uh, like share and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this thank you talk to you soon bye